Hello everyone, it's Mike here, back to get a re... What am I doing, a regroom? Regroom, Yes, a regroom with the wonderful, the fabulous Troy. He's looked oh. after me since day one. You probably saw him on the show. Wasn't he really good on the show? He I was know, really good. I hope so, because I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already uh, worried about what my friends might see, because uh, obviously a lot of you, my friends don't know. Yeah. So when yeah. I get the messages on... Uh, the evening, it's going to be a bit worrying. <laughs> it's all right, prime time. It's like they moved <laughs> yeah. to start, they're there. So yeah, full regroom today. Nice Here we go. go. So what we do, obviously when you come in for a regroom, as Mike has had one or two before, and he's done a few himself as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the whole system. We clean his head, we cut his hair, his biological hair. We re-blend it. Might put a little bit of colour in, just because it's slightly light over last months or so it's kind of like the sun obviously good weather we've been having yeah. it's lightened up a little bit so we'll get it all done we'll walk you through it as we do it right so we've taken mics off as you can see we put a bit of cotton wool all over the same as this it sticks to anything sticky so it's just nice and easy to get a grip when we wash it off in a bit this one i'm going to go outside and clean and we're going to put like i said a little bit of color it's only a little bit just on the edges um just to help blend it into the darker sections of mike's hair the sock's fine, so we're not going to colour it too much there. And then what we'll do, we'll film some of that, and we'll be back when we start uh, cutting his hair. So as you can see, on this, all I've done is put a little bit of colour just around the edges. And then all I'm doing is combing it through, just to create almost like low lights, just to thing. I'm only going to leave them on for a few minutes because the colour wasn't too far away. So we're just going to do a couple little bits like that, and then we'll get it ready to attach. Right, so we've got Mike all cut, ready, cleaned. All the stingy stuff done. System's all clean and coloured now. So what we do is we place it on. Make sure we make it in the spots where, where we want it. So, uh, that looks right to me. So what we do, same thing we do with every fitting and every uh, re-room. We ask Mike to raise his eyebrows. Make sure we're not in any of the creases, which is fine. Aim for roughly four fingers. To each individual, it sometimes changes. Sometimes people's creases are a little bit higher, lower, so you can wiggle where the hairline is. With Mike's, it is around about three fingers, whereas, I want to say wrinkles, uh, creases stopped, so it's not an issue that we go for four. So all we do is we do the dots, where the hairline's gonna be with the glue, because Mike uses tape and glue like himself. And then basically a couple of dots for me. So then we're going to go tape it up and get it attached. Um, so what we're doing now, we've taped up Mike's system. We're just going to glue the front. We've already put all the scalp protector, the stingy stuff on, but Mike's a, a man's man, so we've done it right in. Ha! That's probably more accurate than that. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. And that's it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just get all around the edges, make sure we get right up to that front dot. I was actually worried about this bit when I was doing my shooting because I couldn't find the brush that you gave me. And I oh, just spent no. hour going, it's going to kill me. Oh no, you are just using a square of paper. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of people do use different things. Um, when I first started coming here as a client, they used to use um, like PVA spatulas. Mm. There was a lot of that kind of thing. Um, at home, personally, I use makeup brushes. Okay. Um, because it's something you can pick up from anywhere. Yeah. And they're relatively cheap. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is a case of people use a lot of different things. I've heard people using their fingers. Don't recommend it because no. obviously there's oil in your finger. You're just going to make it less sticky when you're starting. Um, unfortunately, you might hear a bit of background noise. We've got to turn off the aircon and help get it a bit cooler in here during the uh, summer. So it dries a bit quicker. Because I'm not actually, I've, it's been interesting this last week, this has been like the sort of first four heat week that I've had that. Yeah, I mean... And it's not been bad. Yeah, I mean, you do tend to have to maybe do a little bit more work in like really hot weather. So when I've been like to Florida and places like that, where I've been in and out of water all the time, or you're in, you know, 100 degree heat. Yeah. Like, obviously there's like a little <laughs> bit more maintenance that is involved. But in theory, you know, it's no different in the winter. It, it's a thing. It's just like you have to work hard towards keep maintaining it more so. Yeah, of course. So what we're gonna do, just gonna attach the front. Are you even recording? Yeah. I'll try and make it look like that. So we edit most of the rubbish nonsense we talk out anyway. So that means there's gonna be about two minutes of me. Yeah, about two minutes, <laughs> two minutes of <laughs> 
So what we're doing, just going to double check that his hairline is right above those things. Mike, since we started doing Mike, especially because it was a TV shoot, we knew it was going to be hot and the cameras and there was going to be, you know, a lot of sweating, <laughs> panic. We do use Ultra Hold on Mike. So it's quite a, um, a, well, not quite a, it's a very sticky glue. Um, you try to avoid lace like the plague with it. Um, only reason being it will go through into the hair a little bit quicker but it does give you an extra bit of stick. So we are going to use a little bit of that underneath the tape on Michael's. Funny enough, exactly what I use as well. So then what we do, we roll it back, bit of tension. Rub the edges down, do a towel trick, not really a trick, Just rolling a towel over your head, not really a trick is it, but, but it's a really important part of the whole maintenance as well. Yeah, it, it does, it, I think people sometimes um, think we're taking the mic on, we say you should roll, like just put a towel over your head and pull it, um, but it is quite an important thing because obviously any heat, any kind of like um, sweat, things like that, can ha it can all have like a, not a negative effect, I don't want to say like a negative effect, but like a, an adverse effect, you say, yeah. on obviously having tapes and glues on your head. Um, so it is a case of, you know, by doing that, if there's a little bit of stick left, you're you're almost kind of getting that last little bit out of it, mm -hmm. which is what we all want. We all want our systems to last. I'd love to have a system that would stick on my head and last for six months if I could. That'd be amazing. I can't imagine. Um, but obviously it's not a, a thing, so we have to try to get as much life out of each kind of bond as we can. So what we're going to do now, we're going to blow dry Mike's hair, get it all styled, get him ready to go out and uh, see his door in public. <laughs> and here I am. That's it, just going to dry off a little bit more. So we've got Mike's, all his dots and all that taken off so he makes sure he doesn't walk out looking like he's been stout. <laughs> So I'm going to put a little bit of product in for him as well. Mate, that looks fantastic. That would be really cool. Well, I can find the product because Mike was sniffing it earlier on because he likes the smell. <laughs> so it's just a little bit of matte product. I try to stay away from like wet look, ultra sticky kind of those kind of names on products because obviously we want it to look quite natural and quite full mm. and obviously as you all know, if you're watching these videos, usually you're looking at hair systems or you're, you're losing your hair or you wear a hair system yourself. The wetter you make your hair, the more see-through it looks. So a lot of times you have to explain to people that are losing their hair when they come to cons uh, consultations. The reason you stay away from them is because when you get out of a shower or a pool, you notice your hair's a lot thinner. So we try to keep away from that like, separation issue. Mm -hmm. So it's just to make sure that it stays nice and tight and thin I think it I think matte products look better. Yeah. And they smell really nice too. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe there's that as well. And this is why I always ask for Troy. <laughs> if I'm working, which yeah. is yeah, pretty yeah. much all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's all finished. We're going to do one more video. It'll be like a little video around the edges so you everyone can see what it looks like. But Thanks for watching. We'll see you again, I'm sure. Give me a thumbs up.